Malibu. Uh, not a lot of room inside this Nissan 370. It's a little tight, a little, a little toit. Uh, we're heading up to the no-name car show. The top secret Malibu. I can say it's Malibu, right? It's in Malibu. It's in Malibu, but I can't say the it's name. Along the coast. Yeah, I don't want to say the name because they just have lots of cars. But there's, uh, there's some. We're following the, we're following the Jaguar right now. Uh, how was the drive up? Nice, nice and clear. Good. Good. It's the best time to drive in LA when there's like no one out. Well, I think I got here in like 45 minutes. So it was good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Inside a 1956, the Bianca, I, I can't even pronounce it. It's a, a classic Fiat. It's gorgeous, stunning, hanging out. This is the owner right here. There's Johnny Banks. There's Ken. What's up, gentlemen? Johnny, you got to come and sit in this car with me. No, I have coffee in my hand. I, know <laughs> I would not dare. That is awesome. Oh my God! It is that really roomy, isn't I it? I remember. I remember these steering wheels. Best so far, Ken. The green Porsche? Yeah. Look a, at the color. A green Porsche? It is pretty. It's a nice color. I like the fact that it's parked right next to that thing. That's cool. That's even better. Just kidding. Oh. It figures you'd be looking at that car. Yeah. No pressure. Matt, what are you doing here? Ah, why, uh, why, why, why are you here? What what why car is keeping you here? What 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 car is keeping you here? I couldn't think of a damn question. I'm the most jet lagged person ever, and I was awake at 4 a.m. And so and, I and said, you, you were here at so, I was six. here at six. So I said I needed something to do. So yeah. Right but I'm glad I did because it's a lovely show. It is a lovely There's show. There's a lot going on today with these cars. And I got, I'm like the second car here. I parked right there. Right. And they can't kick me out. I now have the worst car at the show, but they can't kick me out. Because I was here first. So and and, and you, saw, you saw Johnny Banks a little bit ago. And you, yeah, you I made a fool of myself. <laughs> which I tend to do around celebrities that I'm not prepared to meet. Yeah. I'm not way around you. And when I'm like half asleep and, you know, haven't had coffee yet. Yeah, it's a lot of the, the place to go for for reviews that actually make sense. Well, we try, you know, uh, as opposed to a lot of fluff and a lot of baloney. <laughs> Trying so, to cut through said baloney. Yeah. So what, what are you driving now? That uh, uh, I drove my '75 International Harvester up here. Um, but you're not reviewing that. Well, they put me way in the back. <laughs> What, what is good about working with Jalopnik? Ah, well, we get, to, we get a kind of diverse range of transportation, uh, sort of exploration, right? We uh, we mostly do cars, that's obviously the bread and butter, but we kind of mess around with planes, boats, yep. whatever else we can get our hands on. We're standing next to an F40 right now, so it's kind of hard oh, to yeah. concentrate. Yeah, it's uh, not the kind of car you see on the road that often. It smells yeah. good. It oh. smells good. <laughs> Not a bad turnout, if I do say so. Got to hang out with uh, my buddy Matt Vera, who is doing all kinds of crazy things with cars. You guys are basically two peas in a pod. We are. Yes, four wheels and a lot of insanity going on right there. Like it. Uh, I think we got to go because it's my birthday tomorrow. It's my birthday tomorrow, and we're having coffee with my sister today. So it might as well be my birthday today. Happy birthday. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Kathy has 
now join me in the Nissan 370. Uh, we're gonna go up to Coffee Bean, hang out with my sister. Have you had any coffee yet? I had one cup. I saved my second cup. Oh boy. Yes. Uh, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm, I'm here for your birthday. She gave me a birthday card and... Something for me. Something for Kathy. Not even. <laughs> This is probably one of the world's worst mini skate parks. I mean, you could grind this rail, right? You could grind that. But then when you fall into that pit, that would be a lot of pain. This is like my bed. Walking out to the colony. Uh, it kind of looks a little bit like a swamp out here. And uh, smells like one too. I don't mind saying. I think I saw a salamander. Oh! We're just about out at the colony. This is the first house. This house belongs to Jerry Bruckheimer. It doesn't belong to Ken, even though he's walking right in front of it. along the Colony Beach. Most big celebrities live along here. You know, people like Ken. What's up, buddy? Hey. And uh, the girls are way up front. My sister, despite her little legs, walks like a, uh, a pigeon. Mm. She is constantly on the move, kind of hard to keep up with. She walks incredibly fast. <laughs> but if you need to get somewhere really quick, you want to hire her, because she'll get the job done. Stewart has shown up. Yeah, boy. Seem to disappear. I'm gonna let on you this time around. I wanna bet on you. You know I really do. I'm gonna dream of you. It's all I ever want, but I can stay. I am ready for the next adventure. Whatever that may be. Don't really care. Did I mention it's almost my birthday? Did I mention that? Um, two days? No, one day away. It's tomorrow. Wait, what day is it? Tomorrow is my birthday. And you know what we're gonna do tomorrow? I'm gonna get to that in just a second. Wait a second. All right, we're good. Really fun today at uh, today's show. Kind of hanging out at, almost said it, not gonna say it, at the Top Secret Malibu Car Show. Got a chance to hang out with some 
friendly faces. Uh, Jonathan Banks, always fun to hang out with because the guy is incredibly hysterical. Loves cars, as we all do. And uh, it's just fun to kind of walk around with and shoot the proverbial. And then, of course, uh, my good buddy, Matt Farah, who uh, I didn't expect to see, haven't seen in a little while. He's always traveling, doing cool stuff with cars. You guys should check out his site. It's uh, thesmokingtire.com. Oh, hold on, hold on. My best Matt Farah impersonation. What's up? Of course, he doesn't have any hair in, and he's got tattoos on his calves. I, uh, going to shows like that and looking at those cars like that, that red Ferrari, $25 million Ferrari, you know, it, th those things are quite amazing. I personally like the muscle cars and the cars that people build, although those cars are really cool too. But if I had a $25 million Ferrari, I would probably sell it and buy, you know, about 40 classic cars. Maybe 50. And Andrew, Andrew from Jalopnik, good to meet you, buddy. Uh, I think we're gonna do some fun stuff with these guys. There's just all these cars around in Southern California that need to be driven, and I'm the guy that's gonna be doing it. Okay, let's talk about what's happening for my birthday tomorrow. There's a lot of things I can do for my birthday, and there's a lot of things I have done for my birthday. You know, Universal Studios, uh, Disneyland, just all kind of the normal stuff. I wanted to do something with you guys that would be unique, different, freaking awesome. So I came up with the idea. No, it wasn't really me. It was Kathy came up with the idea. Maybe I did. I don't really know. But the idea is what we're doing tomorrow is we're going to be taking you guys. It's going to be me. It's going to be Kathy. And we're grabbing Ken. And we're going to be driving out to Hollywood. And when we get to Hollywood, we're going to stumble across this big, huge cave. And the cave is in Bronson Canyon. You know what I'm talking about? You have any idea what I'm talking about? I'm taking you guys tomorrow to the Bat Cave. Yes, Bronson Canyon is where they shot the original 1966 series of Batman. And when he comes jumping out of the cave, that is Bronson Cave. But they filmed Bonanza there. They filmed lots of other TV shows, lots of really cool stuff. It's a bit of a hike. You park in the parking lot and then you got a hike. Oh man, it's really far. It's about a hundred yards to the cave. Not really that far. But then after that, if all goes well, we're gonna hike, huff, whatever it is, you know, that we're gonna do. We're gonna make our way up to the Hollywood sign and we're gonna stand behind the Hollywood sign and I'm gonna show you guys all of Hollywood. Or Hollyweird, as some people know. But regardless, we're gonna have a great time. And that's gonna be tomorrow's vlog. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget, Bad Cave tomorrow. And we'll see you guys to the Bad Cave.